A man is behind bars on a $12 million bond accused of shooting at police during a SWAT standoff in Blue Ash. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. Chancellor Wynn joins us live from the Hamilton County Justice Center with new video from a witness. And Trisha and I were talking $12 million bond. We've never heard of one so high. Rob, Trisha, I have not seen a $12 million bond. A bond this high is definitely a little bit out of the ordinary, but I can tell you 41 year old Brian Bledsoe is the man being held on that $12 million bond and he's being held here at the Hamilton County Justice Center facing multiple charges in connection to a SWAT standoff at a Blue Ash Motel on Wednesday. Now he is accused of holding a woman against her will inside of one of those hotel rooms and firing seven gunshots at multiple police officers. Well, tonight I spoke to a woman who's staying at that hotel and she shared firsthand video showing Bledsoe being arrested by police. This video shows police officers breaking out a window to a second floor hotel room where 41 year old Brian Bledsoe allegedly barricaded himself inside. Investigators say they went to Birchill Suites on Cornell Road Wednesday night to arrest Bledsoe, who was wanted for violating parole and a drug possession. When I realized what was going on, it came to concern for me. Danielle Guillaume is currently staying at the same hotel. She tells me her concern in that moment was for the woman who Blue Ash police say Bledsoe was holding against her will inside of the hotel room. I found that it was a woman kidnapped in her room and I found out it was a relationship. So to me, that's domestic violence as well. You know, you don't expect for you to be in a relationship with somebody, be happy one day, and then the next minute you're kidnapped. Bledsoe is not facing a domestic violence charge, but he is charged with kidnapping. And as a domestic violence survivor herself, Guillaume says she was ready to help that woman if needed. I stayed there. I watched. I videoed. I made sure that nobody was harmed. And if I did have to talk to that female, I would have went down there to talk to that female. Passion's Crest is my podcast and my it's regarding relationships. It has to do with relationships with people. I also have an organization called Debo DV. And what that is, is delete every bit of domestic violence. Um, and that's my purpose. According to Blue Ash Police, Bledsoe also threatened the woman with a gun before firing seven gunshots through the hotel walls, almost striking 11 SWAT officers that were in the hallway. Police say hostage negotiators attempted to get Bledsoe to surrender peacefully and release his hostage, but he refused. It's not about just he had charges. It's not about that, you know, SWAT came out here. It's really about the actual situation, which domestic violence is real. And that's something that not only just me, not only people that are not victims or survivors, but everybody needs to eradicate. Ah, ah. Bledsoe is now facing 11 counts of attempted murder of a police officer, 11 counts of felonious assault, kidnapping, and weapons charges. Now, according to court documents, Bledsoe is scheduled to appear back in court on March 7th. Reporting live downtown, Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now.